We begin with this week with Hashem, the, the sugya of Chazara, Chazanish, and it's printed in Masi Ish, once said that an example of a limud that the Olam assumes is straightforward and basic, but is in fact one of the schwerst limudim, I think is the way the Chazanish said it, is the Chazanish brought as an example of that Peret Kira. So Peret Kira is a limud which the Halach is Amotzi and people assume is relatively poshut, but in fact is of the most difficult limudim. Yes. And Bez Hashem, as we begin the Sugis of Chazara, which will build on the Sugis of Shehir, as we'll see. So our Tvila is Lemisha, Lemisha Chach Meshaloy, as the Gemara in the end of Nida says, that we should be Zeche B'Siyata Deshmaya to be able to clarify these very complex and very difficult Sugis. The, the sugya of Chazara, as its very name implies, and as the as the lotion of the Mishnah is, Noiklim Avaloi Machzirim, Ubeisil Oimim Af Machzirim, is that the halacha and the sugya of Chazara addresses a case where a kedera was in a state of shihio beheter and was removed from the Aish. And now the question is, can the Kedeira be returned to the Aish? And as we'll see, in that case, the fundamental Shaila is, do we see, as we'll see the Lashenus of the Rishenim, that the Chazara constitutes a new Shihir? Or do we see that by returning the Kedeira, by being Machzir, we are merely continuing the previous Shihir? And as we'll see, Be'ez Hashem, the Tanoim of Chazara, as they're called in the Rishonim, the various conditions that the Gemara stipulates in order to allow Chazara, the Gemara and the Flamet Ches and the Be'ez, are all referring to conditions which allow us to consider the Chazara as a continuation of the original Shehir. What we'll begin our limud with is the assumption that precedes the Din of the Mishnah. In other words, the din of the mission is discussing noitlim u machzirim, noitlim avaloi machzirim. What we'll discuss is, even if there wouldn't be a chiddush to be matir chazara, dahainu, there wouldn't be that chiddush that the original shihir can be maintained based on tnoi chazara, the question would be, why can chazara not be allowed as, an, as a new shihir? The assumption of the sugya of Chazara is, by its very definition, is that the only oifen that's matir to return the Kedera to the Eish is because we're returning it. And the need then is, since Chazara, if we fulfill the conditions of Chazara, allows us to view the Shihir continuing from the previous state of Shihir, therefore it's mutter. But the underlying assumption of the sugya is that to place the kedera lechatchila al gabei ha'ish b'shabes is also. And the question is why? The reason why we have to explain this is because the iser of putting the kedera in the first place of Shab- on Shabbos doesn't follow the gedorim of the iser of Shihir. In other words, you could dismiss the Shaila and say that the reason why you can't put the Kader Lechatchila B'Shabbos on the, on the Eish is because that's Shihir. But that's not correct. We're going to outline three, and then Be'ez Hashem, the, as we continue the Limud, we'll see a fourth instance in which it's clear that the case that Notlov Yichzira applies to won't allow Shihir Mitchila on Shabbos even if that same shihir would be mutter Arab Shabbos. In other words, what we see, what we'll see is, and this is what we're going to attempt to show, that the underlying assumption of the din of not love hichzira is that to be shoya betchila b'shabbos is choluk b'yisoyda. It has an entirely different din than to be shoya Arab Shabbos. Let's go through one by one the cases that we saw. According to Hananya, that Shihir is mutter on a 
Kira, that's Ene, Goruf, and Kotum, as long as it's Mavushal, Kemachal, Ben Drusoy. Would it then be mutter to place the Kedera on a Kira, She'eno, Grufa, Buktuma, if it's Mavushal, if, it, if it's on Shabbos, even if it's Mavushal, Kol, Sarko? Would one be able to place that Kedera on a Kira that's Ene, Goruf, or Kotum? So we always have to anticipate two shayos, Shihia and Bishal. Let's say it's even Mavushal Kol Tzarkai. So there's no issue of Bishal according to any of the Rishayim. Again, Tirkor Rabbi We have seen a number of times in Simen Shin Yud Ches, a Machlaikis or Rishayim, if there's Bishal the Iraisa from Macho Ben Drusoy up to the point of Mavushal Kol Tzarkai. Let's even assume, according to the Rishonim, that there is Bishal from Kaltzarkoi to Macho Ben Drusoy. So we'll discuss a case where the Tavshal is Mavushal Kaltzarkoi. Could one be Machzer that Kedera Shabbos if the Kira is not Gara from Kotum? So we have a Gemara Mefureshes that the Gemara says on the Flamad Zayin and Aleph. That even according to Hanania, who's makel by Shihia and allows Shihia from Macho Ben Drusoyin on, even if the Kira is not Goraf and Kotum, on Shabbos, Hanania is only Matir Chazora on a Kira Grufa Uktum. Let's see the Lashon of the Gemara. The Gemara says, Lo'oilam Eimaloch Lahachzir Tanan. Top of Lama Zayin and Madalaf. The, the Mishnah is, is discussing the Din of Chazora. And the Gemara says, these are the dinim. Kira shesikua bekashu begevava, a kira that is goruf and kotum, because it's, it's husak bekashu gevava, and therefore it doesn't need goruf and kotum. Machzira leal tavshil, one can be machzir tavshil. Begefes ube eitzim, if it's gefes and eitzim, which requires goruf and kotum, lo yachzir ad sheyigrof ad sheyitin esaifa. So we have a Gemara Mufureshes that the Gemara establishes that whereas Shihia, according to Hananya, doesn't require Gaurav and Kotum, but Chazara will require Gaurav and Kotum. Now, if the Isser of being put, placing something on a Kedera, on a Kira, Bishabbos, is merely the same Isser as placing an Erev Shabbos. Mm -hmm. So why an Erev Shabbos is Hanania Mekel, that we don't need Gaurav and Kotum, and on Shabbos is Machmir? So we have the first instance based on the Gemara Mufureshes, that it's Choluk B'Yisoydoi, the Din of Shihia Erev Shabbos, and placing a Takedeira on Shabbos. Erev Shabbos Hanania is Mekel, the Shabbos Hanania won't allow Chazorah unless Gaurav and Kotum. And this is the most basic yesoid in the dinim of Chazara, is that Chazara is never possible, al ho'esh, unless the esh is Gaurav and Kotum. Regardless of how we paskin, we paskin like Hananya or we paskin not like Hananya, Chazara is only ever possible Shabbos on an esh that's Gaurav and Kotum. And the question is why? And it's important to emphasize that this din, that Chazara can only be done al ho'esh, if it's Gaurav and Kotum, is even in the situation of actual chazorah. Let's be clear, Rabbi Isai. There are two parts, we said, to the sugi and chazorah. One is the isser of shihiyah mitchila b'shabbos, and the other is the unique application of not al whether we'll consider that a new shihiyah or a continuation of the original shihiyah. The Gemara is mavur that even in a case where Chazara is mutter, the Hainu, it was not Klovi Chazira, and we fulfilled the Tanoi Chazara. Still, it can only be done on a Kira that's Gaurav and Kotum. So let's emphasize the Chiddush. Even if not Klovi Chazira is a continuation of the original Shihir, and the original Shihir would have been mutter on an Enoi Gaurav and Kotum, but to be Machzir. Shabbos, even if it will be a continuation of the original Shia, is only Mutta Begara for Kotum. So we've established that to place a Kedera back on a Kira Shabbos is Choluk be Soydoi, even in the case of Chazara, than, to be, than, to, than a Shia on Arab Shabbos. And then Afkimina is Gara for Kotum. So that will need an explanation why that is so. 
firstly, why even placing it mitchila should be more chomer than she'er Arab Shabbos? Vo'oyed, if the tenoim of Chazorah have been fulfilled, so we're describing a case of not lavehich zira, why nonetheless do we still need a kira that's gara from Kotam? Why isn't it a continuation of the shihia of Arab Shabbos, which would have been mutter on a kira she'en aguf of a ketuma, according to Hanani? So to summarize the first instance that we see that placing a kader al-gabi eish for Shabbos, is choluk than placing it al gabi kedera erev Shabbos is the fact that we need garf and kotum even in a situation of not lavi zero. That's the first din. Teisus on the Lamed Zayin Omed Beis points out this chiddush. When Teisus comes to Paskin, as we touched on a number of times, that the halach is like Chananya. Towards the end of middle middle of Teisus, Achim Pasak Rashi this namas listen the parak Kama to Chananya. And she hears mutter even by a group of Tumas is Taisvis. Ava lehachzir vadai oser ele im ken gara for katu. Ve afilu bishal kultark. So Taisvis points out this this Kiddush. Bottom of the Mazayan when Bez Dibar Maskal Omar. Taisvis says, even if we pass them like Kananya. So Tesis has pointed out this Chiddush in Hananya, that not, firstly we need Garaf and Katum, and even Mavushal called Tzorokoi will not be an Eitzim. What is, what is Tesis adding? What would Mavushal called Tzorokoi change? Tesis Shita is that from Macho Ben Drusoi to Mavushal called Tzorokoi, there is no Bishal Deraisa. So Tesis is saying, even if there'll be Mavushal called Tzorokoi, Tesis is not coming to say, therefore, we've avoided Chashash Bishal, because Tesis holds there is no Chashash Bishal. What Tesis is saying is, even it's Mavushal called Tzarkoi. So, therefore, there wouldn't be any reason to be Chashash Shema Yechate, Horaya, that even according to the Chachamim who argue on Chananya, Shihi on Erev Shabbos is mutter by Mavushal called Tzarkoi, even then we need Garaf and Katum for Shabbos. So, the Hainu, even Loi Meboyal Afi Chananya, who's a Mekel, once it reaches Macho Ben Drusoy, we still need Garaf and Cotton for Chazara, even according to the Chachomim, who are only make up a Mavushal called Tzarkoi, and it is Mavushal called Tzarkoi, still you need Garaf and Cotton. So this is not discussing a Bishal issue because he holds there is no Bishal in that case, the Raisa. So Tesis has, has put an emphasis, Tesis has pointed out that there's a basic difference between the Dinim of Shihir and the Dinim of Chazara, but Tesis doesn't say the Hezbo why. Okay. So you've made you've made you've, you've made right. So you've made an assumption that Tesis holds like the Rishain of Mechzik Mevashal. So we'll have to see. Rashi also will have to see if Rashi holds Mechzik Mevashal or Rashi holds a different time. You're right. Mechzik Mevashal will be one of the reasons that the Rishain of Gufa Mechadish this Chashash of Mechzik Mevashal in order Gufa to explain. I mean, why does an Issa Shia B'Shabbos? But we'll see a number of times in Tesis that Kipshutai, and that's where we'll see Rabbi Simcha assumes, and Sefer Yosha, Rabbi Natam, that Tesis doesn't necessarily hold Bechlal of the Svar of Mechzik and Mevashal. Let's, let's take it step by step. So that's the first child. The second is, is there a heter of, Chaz- uh, is there a heter of Chazara by Mitztamek Viraloi? We've established that in a case where the, where the tanner is not garifokotum, or the kira is not garifokotum, there's an issue, there's an iser of chazar. I ain't a garifokotum. What about if the tavshil is mitztamik viralo? Tesis says, the Tesis we just saw, that even if he passed in like chananyo mutalishois, afilu be'ena grufo, avalahachzir oser elam king garifokotum, afilu bishal kol tzarkai. Now, Bishal called Tzarkoi, we know from the previous sugya can have two, two scenarios. Bishal called Tzarkoi and Mitztamek V'yofeloi. Bishal called Tzarkoi and Mitztamek V'raloi. What's the din of placing it on a kira she'en a guf of a by Mitztamek V'raloi? Is that mutter? We'll recall that even according to the Chachomim who are machmir, the Mitztamek V'raloi, there's no mokum to aser on a kira she'en a guf of a only the fi chananyo is its mutter in a case of macho ben drusoi, or the fi the chachomim, mabushu called tzarkoi, and according to some rishonim, it has to be 
mitzamik veraloi. But when mitzamik veraloi, then even chachamim a matter to be shoya al gabi kirish in a group of a ktuma. Is there a head to be to be machzir on a kirish in a group of a ktuma by mitzamik veraloi? What's the din in that case? So in that there is a Ramban, where the Ramban says b'soich dvarov. Ramban on uh, towards the end of Chidusha Ramban in the Flamad Zayin with Aleph. The Ramban says v'oid deloy ashkechon hetero lehachzir. We don't find the hetero to be machzir. Afilu b'mitztamek v'raloi elo begruf of ktuma. Zot the Ramban the mitztamek v'raloi is not a hetero unless it's garif v'katum. So again, what's the issa? By mitztamik v'raloi, what's the chaymer hadava? Hare by mitztamik v'raloi, what should be the reason to ask it to place it on a on a on a, on a kira b'shabbos? Now here, since you mentioned before mechzekim evashel, mechzekim evashel is not so easy to apply. Mechzekim evashel or mitztamik v'raloi? Mitztamik v'raloi, a person is not mevashel. A person doesn't put back mitztamik v'raloi. So what's the mechzekim evashel? You know, you put it on. The question was, what is the So that so that, that depends, as we'll see, Be'ez Hashem and Achreinim, on two ways of understanding what Mechzikim Evashel means. But to point out the Koshi Shevadavar, it's not posher to simply say Mechzikim Evashel to explain this Chiddush that's Mavur in the Ramban. And this Chiddush is brought in, in Iran, the Chiddush is brought in the Rav Magid. It's a Pele that this Chiddush actually is never Muzka Lehedyan Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch never says Mufurish in Sivarish and Gimel that Mitztamek Veraloi also has an Isser of placing on a, on a Kira B'Shamis. Shulchan Aruch doesn't say it. Achroinim point out that Mitoich the Rishonim, that din is Mufur, but it's not actually Mufurish in Shulchan Aruch, but it's assumed, it's assumed Lahalacha. Till David mentions it, Ladina, and in a further Lima Bez Hashem will come back to it. So that's the second for instance where we see that placing a Kedera B'Shabbos on a Kira is more Chomor than Shihir Erev Shabbos. The third case, where we see that there is a basic difference between, between Shihir and Chazara, is the Nidin of the Gemara on the Flamad Zayin and Aleph. And here we'll begin to open the, the comparisons between Shihir and Chazara in the Din of Smicha. So the Gemara on Daf Lamad Zayin and Aleph discusses an Iboya, can one be soimech to a Kira B'Shabbos? What's the din of, what's the din of smicha? Mahu lismech. First, first of the wide lines on Daf Lamad Aleph, on Lamad Zayin and Aleph, Iboya luhu mahu lismech po. Ben Chanan Les Geris Mahu Lismich Lo, which is more accurate in the Dikto Kagimara. Iboy Luhu Mahu Lismich Lo. Toicha Vigaba Osser. Avo Lismich Bo Shapir Domi Oidil Moloi. So we have in the Sugis of Shihir, in the din that if we hold Lishais Tanan, then there's an Isr of Shihir. Until Mavushal called Tsarkoi, according to Hananya, before Macho ben Jusoi, there's a Gzeira of Shihir. So the Gemara says that's Iboil Humau Lismaichpa. Toicha Vagaba Osser, Ava Lismaichpa Shapir Domi, Oidil Maloishna. What about Smicha? So Rashi explains Mahu Lismaich, Kedeira, can I put it apart? Etzel Doifen Hakira. I can put it next to the wall of the Kira. So it's being heated from the heat of the Kira, but it's not. And it's not Al-Gaba. So I can move the Kira and put it, put it situated such that I have a surface next to the Kira to place a Kedera. Can I place the Kedera next to the Kira or not? Does that have the Gezeira of, does that have the Gezeira of Shihir? Let's see Toysus de Bramaschum Mahul Teisva says, Be'eno grufa koboi. The Gemara is discussing a case where Shihir would have been Osir. Namely, it's the Kira itself is not Gorof and Kotom. 
Zotesis. Vi mas nisin lishois tenan. If the if the Mishnah is discussing the Isser of Shihiyanagara from Kotum, meaning we're not holding like Hananya, but we're holding like Chachomim, that until Mabushal called Sarkai, Shihi is Osir, Zoktais was Koboi Lehashois Ulehachzir. The Shail is bowing on both Shihia and Chazara. And if we're going to Hananya, that the mission is only discussing the din of Chazara, and then Toichel and Gabo is muta to be Shoya, Zok Toisvis, Boi, in that case, the, the Shail is Lehachzir, Ulehashois, Heichashainim, Mushbushel, Kemacho ben Drusoi. So what's Toisvis saying? Toisvis is saying that the Iboy of the Gemara of Mahu Lismoich applies. To, in two, to, in two, in, according to both Ma'an the Amrim, and is speaking about two different scenarios. It's speaking about in a case where Shihia would be Osir, which means either prior to Mavusha called Tzarkoi or prior to Macho Ben Drusoi, in those cases where Shihia, Al Gabo, and Latoy Osir, what would be the din of Smich? Seems to be an unusual case. We'll see. As we go see more sukkis halacha lemaisa, we know there. We'll see that lismich is very relevant by Yomenu also, and that is in an an area of the blech that's not on top of the fire, but one wants to put something on it in order to keep it warm, but it's not on al gabi or ish mamish. That's an example, a modern day example of smicha. It doesn't have to be on the counter next to the next to the burner. There are four burners on a range in a standard range. If one of them is on and you want to put it on a, on a different on a different in a different place, further from not Agavi Ish, but further from Ish, that's an example of smicha. And we'll see that Bezer Hashem. So Zaktaisvis, in the same instance that we're discussing whether or not Shihi is Osir, we're also discussing whether or not Khazara would be Osir or Mutter in that case. Maulismich. So the Rishai Tesis has drawn a parallel between Shihia and Chazara. This is a critical point in the Sugya. This is the first time that we've seen the Rishonim saying that what's Mutter and Shihia should be Mutter and Chazara, and what's Osir and Shihia will therefore be Osir and Chazara. Now, again, to return to your point, if the din or iser of Shihia is Shema Yechate, which is Mufurish in the Gemara, but the din of Chazara is because, just you mentioned, as Mech Sekim we'll come back to it. So how can Tesis draw a parallel between the two cases? Shihia is Shema Yechate, and Chazara is in Mech Sekim Two unrelated questions. Let's leave that child on the side for the moment. But what do we see in Tesis? Tesis, we said, has drawn a, a parallel between whatever applies to Shihia applies to Chazar. It's not Mufurish in the Gemara. The Gemara merely said, Tesis could have said that's only addressing a scenario of Shihia Be'er of Shabbos. Tesis chose to be Mechadish that that din applies to Chazar also. The Chidush Yehoran, in the name of the Ra'ah, takes strong issue with Tesis. And says, how could Tesis compare the two cases? According to the Mandam who holds Lishais Tanan, and we're discussing a case where, this, where she hears also on some Bushel called Tsarkoi, can you draw an inference that if Smicha would be Mutter, therefore Chazara would be Mutter? What well, gives you the right to compare the two cases? The Ramah says, "The lekel lemeimar the kibun the lemanda osa b'shihia elam kein gruf of a shari b'smicha." Just because you see that there's a manda omar that allows smicha for shihia, tifshoit nami lemanda osa b'chazara the shari b'smicha. The holeis the midi the holeisa. That's the the parallel is not correct because we know says the Ra'ah, that there's chumras and differences between between shihia and chazara, and we know from the previous sugya says the Ra'ah, that chazara is always more chumra than shihia. So how can you compare the two? This is the this is the basic question of the of the Ra'a on Pesis. And the Ra'a the Maskana says, possibly in the Drabonon we can be Makel. So we have now another instance in which 
there is a chilek between Chazara and Shehira. And that is according to the Shita of the Ran and the Ra'a, who, who say that the fact that Smicha is Muta B'Shehira doesn't allow Smicha B'Chazara. So we have a third illustration of the difference between Shehira and Chazara. The first is that we need Gorof and Kotum, even according to Hananya. The second is Mitztamek Veralo is not a heter. And third, Smicha. Let's see together a Mishnah, a, a Mishnah Guru. Page 73 in the booklet pages, Simulation and Gimel, Mishnah Guru, Oyster Svov. The Mechaber is discussing the halacha of whether or not Shihia is Mutter Besamach. So, Rabbi Isai, from the Gemara, we came out that Shihia will be Mutter Besamach. The only Isser is Toich and Gaba, but Smicha is Mutter. Zog the Mishnabura Mutter Lismechla, Yesh Oimrim. The Loy Sharin on Hocha were only Mati Smicha Kim has Smicha be Arab Shabbos, La Hashoiso Mishatechach. That only allows Shihi on Arab Shabbos. Ava lehachzir b'Shabbos oser afilu b'smicha. It's oser even on Shabbos to be soimich to do a chazara, even if it's only in the ifen of smicha. Let's leave out this line for the moment and continue. Ava kama achroinim cholkim alze v'daytom de chazara b'smicha muta lekule alma. The afilu besmicha lichatchila beshabbos yesh mekilim. So what do we have in the what do we have in the in the Mishnah Bura? The basis of this Mishnah Bura is a machlokes between the Dogel Merivava and, and Rabbi Kiva Eger how to understand a certain Morgan Avram. Rabbi Kiva Eger says it's posher that if you hold that shihia requires garif and kotum like the Mechaber holds, then smicha will never be matir chazar. There's no Gemara. The Gemara is only talking about Shihir. Chazara? Chedusha Haran says Mufurush. Chazara and Shihir have no, have, no, have no parallel. The Dogomer of Ava says no. The Dogomer of Ava says that Avadi, you can be Mekel, but you can be Mekel only if it's maintaining an original Shihir, if it's Chazara. But Lechatchila to be Soimach B'Shabbos, no one was matter. So we learn from the Mishnah Bura the again these three dinim. There's Shihia Basamuch, there's Chazara Basamuch, and there's placing a Lechatchila Bishabas Basamuch. Shihia Basamuch Mutter. Chazara Basamuch Machlok is Achroinim. And to put it Lechatchila Bishabas, that the Mishnah Bura says, even those Achroinim are Moida, but there are Mekilim in that case also. So we have again a clear. A clear series of dinim, where Erev Shabbos is cholok from Shabbos, and Shabbos there's a chilek between whether it's a continuation of the original Chazara or whether or not it's an, 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 an original Nesina. This is what we have in this Nishan Guru Ladina in the case of Smicha. And the question is now to analyze the Shita Serishonim, what gives Chazara B'Shabbos or Shihir Mitchila B'Shabbos its Chumra, and then to try now return to these three cases to see how each one of the Rishonim will understand these cases. Let's begin with Shittas Rashi. In Shittas Rashi, we have a basic difficulty. Rashi in the Mishnah, on the din of Loi Machzirim, Lamad Vavim Mabez, Rashi says Loi Machzirim B'Shabbos that's what Rashi says. If one is machzir b'shabbos, it appears as though one is being as it appears as though one is being mevash. The pella is that on dachlamet chesam base in the sugya that discusses the tenoim of chazara, what one conditions have to be met in order to be able to do to to, to do chazara. Rashi three times in the sugya is mafurish that the issue of placing something on a kiro b'shabbos is because of hatmana. 
Now, we'll record Rabbi Yisai. That Rashi has a unique shita that that's the Rishayim say is Rashi's consistent th- shita through Parak Kira. That Rashi holds that the Isser of Shihia is not because of Shema Yechate, but because it's of it's based on Hatmano. It's not an, 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 an original chashash, the chachomim mechadish, that if one's masha, one will be mechate. But shihia means being shoya al gabi gicholim, leaving the kadera in close proximity to the gicholim. And gicholim have a chashash of chitui. Where does that come from? From the sugi of hatamana. So Rashi extends that and says that therefore the iser of chazora b'shabbos is also based on hatamana. Which means leaving something in close proximity to an original source of heat, in this case, Gicholim, even if the Gorofu Kotum involves an, ish, an Isser of Hatman. And Rashi says it, we'll see some of the Lashemites of Rashi together. Rashi says, Machzirim Afilu B'Shabbos. The Chiddush that you can be Machzir B'Shabbos because it maintains the original Shehir. Zot Rashi, what's the Chiddush Afilu B'Shabbos? What does the Gemara mean? It's not Rashi, but it means even Shabbos day. Veloy Tema says Rashi, don't say Pluktayu Mishachashecha. The only Machloikis is, could you do Chazara right away Friday night? And the reason why that would be is because Vahosam Hudu Shoru, Mishum de Muchuchamilsa, the Adaita, the Aduri, the Tzerich, Mochor Shokele. Rashi says that we could have had a Havamina, that the only instance in which Chazara is Mutter, is only if it's being done Friday night. Why? Because since you want the tabshel for tomorrow, so when you took it off the age, it's obvious that you never meant to end the original shihir, you meant it to continue. And therefore, we never see the original shihir ending. But once you take it off the age Shabbos morning, then maybe we would say that by definition, ends the shihir and therefore Chazar is also. Says Rashi, the Chiddush is that you could be machzir even if it was removed on the Yom Shabbos. And we still see that as a continuation of the original Shia. Zod Rashi, Abal Bayoy Moy Mukh the Shakala Day to Dadure, Zod Rashi Ubotla Lohatmono. And the feed that Havamina, that removing it from the Aish on Shabbos, would end the original Shia, says Rashi, therefore the original Hatmono would end. The heavy like Matmin the Khatrilo. If you would then put it on the Aish, you would be Matmin the Khatrilo. And Rashi says it again. Rashi says, why when you put the Kedera al Gabi Karka, if the Kedera is placed on the ground, why can you then not return it to the Kiros at Rashi? We see that the original Shahi is over and an, and an act of Atman is born. Rashi again says, Pino mi mecha no mecha ma. Rashi says, mi have So which one is it? Here Rashi says that the Asoyed of the Isra of placing a Kedera of the Shabbos on the Kira, or performing Chazara without the conditions of Chazara is Havilei Kematmin. And here Rashi says that the din is because of Mechzeki Mevashel. How am I Yashel this Rashi? Zuchara mm-hmm. often is stira. Rashi in the Mishnah says, Loi Machzirim B'Shab is Demechzeki Mevashel, whereas Rashi in the Subi of Chazara itself says it's Havilei Kematmin. How am I Yashel this stira? Havilei Kematmin. What is Mavur in the Pnei Yeshua, in the Mishnah on the Aflam of Vavim Beis, is that Rashi is discussing two different Tanoim. Beis Hillel is Matir Chazara. That's the Mishnah. That's the Halacha. Beis Shammai say in the Mishnah on the Flam of Beis, Beis Shammai Oymer Noitlin Avaloi Machzir. Rashi is bothered by what's the reason why Beis Shammai never allows Chazara. Never. Even if it's Oidoi Biyodoi, Vedai Tola Hachzir, and all the conditions. And therefore, in Savara, we should, say, says Rashi, we should consider this as a continuation of the original Shia. Why is it the Maisa that Beishamai asa? Zot Rashi, Beishamai has a new Gezeira of Mechzekim Evasha. It's an entirely new Gezeira. Mechzekim Evasha. That's Beishamai's Chiddush. Not just that, says the Pnei Yeshua, but why does Beishamai not allow Shihia, even on the Kira that's Gorof and Kotum, if we learn the Mishnah Lahasha is now, like Chachomim. So we have a Beis Shammai that says, Beis Shammai Oymim Chamin Avaloi Tavshel. You can't be shy at Tavshel on a Kedera. A boy say, we, if for weeks we've been discussing Chachomim and Chananya. But according to the Manda Omar Lahasha is now, we have to remember there's a Beis Shammai that says she here is never mutter with a Tavshel, only by Chamin, which is Mitzamek Veraloi. 
Zot the Pnei Yeshua, why should Beis Shammai Asa Shehiyah? Zot the Pnei Yeshua, the answer again is in Rashi. Rashi says, Avaloi Tavshil, Inami Zot Rashi, Niskaima Machshavtoi, Umechsei Kemavashel. So Beis Shammai has a Mechsei Kemavashel consistently throughout the Mishnah. Beis Shammai Asa is being shoya on a kira, group of a ketuma, even in Aifan and the Chacham of the Matir, because placing a Tavshil on the kira, even if it's Gaur Vagotum, is Mechsekim Mavashel. Why? A person can be Mavashel on, 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 on Gecholim, a Gaur and Kotum. There isn't as much of a Chashash Chita, but one can be Mavashel. Has full Chaim, has heat. The Mishayim say it's Moisif Hevel. It's, it's, it's a heat source. You can be Mavashel. Zod the Pnei Yeshua, Beis Shammai consistently has a Shita of Mechsekim Mavashel. So that answers Rashi in the Mishnah, Loi Machzir and Besham is the Mechsekim Mavashel. But Lididan, meaning Kun to Basil, which is how we pass him, that Chazara, if, if you fulfill the condition of Chazara, is Mutter. Rashi Lehedya holds, that's not because of Mechsekim of Asha. Rashi says that's because of Hatma. And therefore, Rashi consistently says the issue of can I be Machzir is an issue of do I see the original Hatmana as being maintained or is this a new Hatmana? So from Rashi, in Rashi, we have our first approach of the Rishonim as to why placing a Kedera B'Shabbos is different than placing an Arab Shabbos. What's the difference? Says Rashi, the difference is in the halachas of Hatmana. We know that in the dinim of Hatmana, on Arab Shabbos, it's only Osa to be Matmin in, some, in, in Gicholim, in, in, in something that's most of heaven. On Shabbos, one can, can't be Matmin at all. Right? We know you can't take the soup off the Blech Shabbos and, be, and wrap it in a blanket, even though the blanket's not a moist of Hevel. It's just maintaining Hevel. Shabbos Hatmana is Osir in all circumstances. Memele lefi Rashi, the it's Niflo, the difference between Shihia Erev Shabbos and Chazar Erev Shabbos. Shihia Erev Shabbos, says Rashi, is Osir because of Hatmana. That's only Osir in the Dovar, a moist of Hevel, or something similar. Mimela, once one's Gara for Kotum, the Rishayim say, that reduces the intensity of the Aish. It's not Moisif Hevel. There's no Gzeira of Hatman of Adavra Moisif Hevel, and Mimela, it's Mutter. Masha'in Ken Shabbos, where Moisif Hevel and not Moisif Hevel makes no difference. So placing it near any heat source that is going to, in some way, maintain the heat of the Tavshal is Osir because it's Hatman. Mimela, Lashitas Rashi, that is the foundation of the sugyo of Chazara, that one cannot place a tavshil back on a kira, even if it would be gara for kotum, as we saw in the Gemara of Lamed Zayin, because that's hatmana, betchilo b'shaz. It's hatmana, simple hatmana. Placing it al gaba kira, or teich kira, is hatmana, l'fish is Rashi. That's why Rashi says, kama v'kama pom, when the sugyo of Lamed Ches, that the sugyo of Chazara is a sugyo of, is a sugyo of hatmana. That also explains why Lefi, the Chachamim, there's no heter of mitzamik viraloi. We don't find a heter of Hatmana B'Shabbos, even if it's mitzamik viraloi. L'chatchila. But the ever that's a cool. But L'chatchila, one can't be in Taimen, even B'davash and mitzamik viraloi. Maintaining Chaim on Shabbos is, maintaining Chaim on Shabbos is, is awesome. We can go a step further and say that according to Rashi, what would be the din of Smicha as opposed to Shihia? We saw that there's a Machlekes or Rishonim, if Shihia is Mutter Besamuch, is that Matir Chazara Besamuch? Taisa says yes, and the other Rishonim Machela can say no. What about, so now, Lefishitas Rashi, what would be the din in that case? Bechur Lefishitas Rashi, we can understand why, if Shihia is Mutter, Chazara should also be Mutter Besamuch. Why? Because what's the boya of the Gemara, Legabe being 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 Saimich? The boya must be, is that considered a Maisa Hatmana? Or because it's distant from the Eish, that's no Shaykhis to Hatmana at all. Maulismich, what's the boya? The Rashi says the Kira is not Gora for Kotum. The Shail is, do we have the Gezer of Shia to put the Kedera next to the Kira? So the shaila is wachachomim goizer to consider that somehow similar to hatmana. Does that have no connection to hatmana? Once we establish that it's mutter and therefore it's not considered hatmana at all, therefore it's mutter even, even to be even to be because that's that's not hatmana at all. 
So the fishitis rashi the din would be that one would be able to be saying Shabbos, Dugma Shitas Atesis. That is the first shita that we have in the sugya. That's the shita miuchedes of Rashi that the yisoid of both shihia and chazar is hatmona. The key chilek is as defined by the differences in the dinim of hatmona themselves. Hatmona be erev Shabbos is more cold than hatmona be Shabbos. That's Mishnah is later on which be Hashemul. That's the first shita in the sugya shita of Rashi. Roiv rishenim a chilek on Rashi, and say that our the perek of perek Kira, has no connection to Hatmana, neither she hears because of Hatmana, nor is Chazorah related to Hatmana. And we now will, Be'ez HaShem, try and analyze the second of the Shittas Rishayinim, which is Shittas Atesis. Do you know why Rashi goes for Hatmana? Do you know what? Do we know why? So the, based on what we've just said, we, we understand very well why Rashi goes for Hatmana. Because Rashi with that explain, has explained, as we've said, all the differences between why B'Shabbos she hears more Chomor than she hears on Arab Shabbos. Whereas, as we'll see, Lefi, the other Shittas and Rishenim, we're going to encounter significant kashas. We already mentioned some of them on the Svar of Mechzeki Medashal. We'll see those, the kashas that are on the Svar of Shema Yichate. We'll encounter Lefi, the other Shittas Rishenim, substantial kashas. What allows the difference for the Chomer of Shabbos itself? Lefi Shittas Rashi, it's Kimin Chomer. The difference between Shia B'Shabbos and Shia B'Arab B'Shabbos is explained based on the Dinim of Atman. Now let's be Oymed B'Siyata D'Shmaya on Shita Satesis. Taisvis on Daflamad Vavum Beis introduces into the Sugya a Chidush, which other Rishayinim do not mention the Hedia, and doesn't have a clear Makar in the Gemara. Taisvis says it's Meduik in the Gemara. And that is an Isser of Chazora on Arab Shabbos. The Hainu, the usual presentation of Shia and Chazara in the Gemara is that the Kedera was Shoya Arab Shabbos. The Kedera then remains on the Kira of Bishabbos. It's removed Bishabbos from the Kira and replaced on the Kira. So this discusses what would be if the Kedera was Shoya on the Kira Arab Shabbos, was removed Arab Shabbos, and replaced Arab Shabbos. What's the din? Kipshutai, what should be the problem? It's Arab Shabbos. What's Osir Arab Shabbos? Tosis is medayik from the Gemara that Chazora Erev Shabbos also has dinim. Let's see briefly the few the part of Tosis that's negayat to us. Tosis la medvavum and beis dibur masach the beisil. Page one. Page one. Zok Tosis. According to the Manda Omrim, that Chazara is Osar, meaning Beis Shammai in the Mishnah, or a case where it's not Gora for Kotum, in those cases, Zok Teisus, Osar Lahachzir, the Osar Lahachzir, Osar Afidu Bechoyel, Le Beis Hillel Kishayin Agufa, or Le Beis Shammai Afidu Begufa. Teisus has just established a remarkable Kiddush. That there is an iser of placing a kedera lechatchilo erev shabbos. In other words, somehow Taisa says that there is a case where placing a kedera on a kira erev shabbos is also. So what we'll obviously have to do is define so what's the case where she hears mutter and what's the case where chazara is also. But Taisa has said that to place a kedera lechatchilo erev shabbos on a kira, there are cases in which there are instances in which that's also. So Zakta says, where's the Diak? Me the Koma Begimara Le Divra Machzirim Machzirim Afilu Bishabas. We just learned that Gemara, where Rashi emphasizes there's a Khidish that you can machzir even on Shabbos. Now Rashi says, note, that Machzir Mafilu Bishabas means Shabbos day. And the Khidish is that we would have thought that maybe the whole Hetar Chazara is only Shabbos night because of this Yesoid that Chazara always continues the original Hatmana. Tesis doesn't translate the words B'Shabbos as meaning Shabbos morning. Tesis doesn't have that mashmos. Tesis Shabbos means gleich noch des man. So Tesis mashma afilu B'Shabbos means that there is a sugya of Chazara Erev Shabbos also, just it's mutter even on Shabbos. What's the sugya of Chazara Erev Shabbos? So Tesis mashma the ikka plukta, not just one instance, but the ikka machloikis is hebe b'chav. For oid medak tek rabbeinu tam mi de ga'om alo yitin at the Gemara's Lashon is that in order to do Chazara 
one has to be goyref, it has to be goyref akotum, lo yitin lo yachsir b'shabesu, if we're speaking about chazara only on Shabbos, hey, yach yigoref a yitin b'shabes, you can't do that on Shabbos, that's kibui. Mukta. So Tesu says, Ela b'choyol nami osa l'achsir. There's an iser chazara b'choyol. V'im toyma mashir hu noisen lesa b'erev Shabbos, well, how long is it also to put a kadeira on a kira on Jerev Shabbos? Zoktoy says, the heicha de silku b'hashkoma, pshita de shoyer l'achsir, if the Kedera, you can put the Kedera up on, on Arab Shabbos in the morning. So, Tosis gives a gather. If it's so close to Shabbos that the Kedera won't be able to boil by the time Shabbos comes, so you can't put it back on him. What's the reason for this Kedera? What, 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 why should that be Asr? What's the problem? So, we'll see by Ezer Hashem two basic Mahalachim in the Rishonim. And the first we'll see a Mahalach which Rameh Simcha, or Sameach, in Paragimel Hilcha Shabbos, derives from a Loshan of Sefer Hayosha of Rabbeinu Tam. This Shita that she is also even heir of Shabbos is Rabbeinu Tam, but Edictic Rabbeinu Tam. So there's a Sefer Hayosha in Simon Reish Lamed Zayn. Sefer Hayosha is the Chidushim of Rabbeinu Tam. If I could just see the Tzuris Hadaf, um, just sign, just sign, you can tell the Elam. Were you using the standard Tzuris Hadaf of the Sefer Hayosha or? Um, oh, I see. Okay, I have a book. Yes, I see. Perfect. Yes, I see it. Yes, okay. Yes, in 189 on the left, on the left hand column, is quoted a, a Sefer Yashar, where the Sefer Yashar says this Chiddush. We'll begin, we'll begin four lines down where it's underlined. So the Sefer Yashar introduces the same Chiddush of Taisus that there is an Isser of Chazar Ami Baidyoim, says Rabbi Nutam. The case where we're discussing Chazar mean it's been the Chazar is on Friday, Arab Shabbos. Now let's 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 um, continue from about four lines down. Aval im. There's a, there's a number three. There's a small number three, and then there's the words aval im. Aval im hoisa kadera misulekes mi boidyoim. If the kadera had been removed from the from the from the from the kira well before this man, before this man kadera shoisim lekadera shabishla kol tzarka. The way it's done in our houses, the soup is cooked, it's boiled up, and then removed to cool. And he's coming before Ben Ashmoshes to put it back on the Kedira Kedel Lechamama. Says Rabbeinu Tam, I can't be matter. And even if the Kedira would be warm already, wouldn't be cold, still Chazara would be also, says why? Kevon she'achshav hu tzorich lo osi lechatuye begicholim so zot the sefer hayoshar a chiddush gadol that the reason why chazara is oser is because chaz- why is a person performing chazara? She here a person performs says Rabbeinu Tam because he wants to maintain the bishul that's already in progress till later tonight or tomorrow morning. That has one. Darga of Shema Yechate. Zod Rabbeinu Tam, but where a Kedera is taken close to Shabbos and is put on the fire, what's the point of doing that? It means you want to heat it very quickly. The interest is the intense heat, is the Chamimus. Zod Rabbeinu Tam, in that case, the Chachom Mamachmir on the Chashash of Shema Yechate beyond the usual gather of Shema Yechate by Shehiyah. By Shehiyah, the Chashash of Shema Yochate is, is because you want the Tavshil to be edible. You're allowing it to cook for a while. It started Erev Shabbos and it's going through until Lel Shabbos or the next morning. So there the Chashash of Shema Yechate is to make it edible. So to make it edible, once it's Kemacho Ben Jusoyim, Avushal Kol I'm not concerned. But where I take it, Sainain, I take it cold, or I take it, I'll put them in a state that what I need it is to be hotter, for example, soup, where even if the soup might be warm, but 
We, we, are, we know that the Hanor of the soup is, is when it's, it's Reseach. Restore. I'm sorry? Restore. Restore. So in that case, the din is, says Rabbi Nutam, <coughs> that the chashash of chitu hadobu yodu Hashem itztanwa, and therefore there's an osi lechatuya b'gicholim, which is different than the osi lechatuya of shihir. Therefore, says Rabbi Nutam, there is an iser of chazara erev Shabbos, which wouldn't apply to shihir. Shihir we could be matir if it's mivushal kol tzarka be inagar fakotum, or if it's aliska macha ben jusoi. But if it's inagar fakotum somach l'shabbos, and my focus in the interest is the chamimus, in that case, is an osi lechatui zot rabbi nutam and mele chazara be erev shabbos is also. So, returning now to the lashon of rabbi nutam, rabbi nutam said iker machlukusam. Let's look again at the lashon atesis. Iker machloik is iker pluk to have a bechayil. Lashon atesis. The basic machloikas of placing a kedera al gabi ho'esh, zot rabbeinu tam, is when? Erev Shabbos. Replacing. That's the ik, not replacing, placing. Placing it, right, if it would be, re, if it, or replacing from earlier in the morning, yes, I'm correct. That's why the term chazara is used, yes, to be accurate. Yes, I stand corrected. Zot rabbeinu tam, that's the ik plukta. And the rabbeinu tam in Sefer Yosha is explaining that why, why is that the ik plukta? Because the issue in the chash, in Chazara is a chashash chitui different than the chashash chitui by Shehir. We have a new sugya now of chashash of Shema Yechate by Chazar. Now let's see Rameh Simcha in Perek Gimel of Il Chashamis. Zot Rameh Simcha, da, di ikatrei taime be'isar Chazar. There are, there are two reasons why there's an there's a, there's an isra of Chazara. Chodo, kimoishe pirshu atesis v'balamor. That's the razor of the balamor. The goza shem yechate b'gicholim im yachzel l'toy chakira. There's a, a, a chashash chitui. Chashash shem yechate. Zotir me simcha. Why is that different from shihia? Again, Rabbi Yisai, let's return to the original Shaya that we started with. Three differences between Chazara and Shihia. We'll see Be'ez HaShem in a further limit four. But three differences between Chazara. We need Garaf and Kotum. Mitzlamek Verali is not a heter. And, pos- and there's a difference between Smicha and Shihia. So Rabbi Simcha now asks the question. He says, Umay de Gora mi Shihia. Why is this Chashash HaMirchate worse than Shihia? Mochom urzeu l'fi kishem mashe hovadai reiseyachu. When he places it on the fire and it's been there long, it's heated. The question is only the bishop continuing. Now, Rameh Simcha in his Kitzeloshan has included a number of fundamental bureaus over here. Let's take them one by one. First, Rameh Simcha has pointed out, like we said, that the Shittas Atosis is different to Rashi, where Rashi said it's with the, chash, the issue of Chazara, of Chazara is because of Atmono. Shittas Atosis is that the Nidin is a Chashash Hashem Yechate. And a Chashash Hashem Yechate that's more Chomur than Shihir. Zod Rameh Simcha, if that would be true, that might explain Zod Rameh Simcha why the heir of Shabbos we need Gorof and Cotton. A mitzdamik for Raleigh won't be a heter. And smicha might be an issue. Because on Erev Shabbos, the Sefer Yos is explaining it well. You're taking the pot out of the fridge. You need the soup piping hot for Lel Shabbos. So we have a chashash of Shema Yechate. But Zadra Meis Simcha, that is the isser of placing it in the first place on top of the, on top of the kira. But we'll recall that there's also a din of Chazara, which says that if it was taken off the Eish on Shabbos, you need the conditions of Chazara to be able to put it back. So, Frek Nemeh Simcha, I don't understand. In that case, there's no, the Kedera isn't Tzainan. So what's the whole sugi of Chazara B'Shabbos? In other words, Rabbi Isai, we've explained convincingly a second shita in the sugi that the basis of the Isra of Chazara is, because Iker plukt is Erev Shabbos, according to Rabbi Nutam, that the Isra of Chazara is because you're taking something Tzainan and placing it on the Kedera. Tzainan, you'll be mechatah. Mimela, we need Garfakotum. Even Mitzamik for Raleigh won't be a heter because even by Mitzamik for Raleigh, I need it hot. And who are din? Smicha. I need it hot. I'll be mechate even if it's for Sombach. 
now we've explained so well Arab Shabbos, we lose our understanding of what the Chaymer of Chazar is Bishabbos. If I take it off the Eish, and like Rashi says, if I don't fulfill the conditions of Chazara, I'm doing a new Shihia, what's the problem? It's not Tainan. I just took it off the Eish. It's been Shaya the whole night. So, the Teich Dvar of Rameh Simcha says, the Lashon we just read, he said, Since you're putting it back on the flame on Shabbos, you're doing that again to retain heat, not to cook. It's been cooking for a while now, it's Shabbos. The chashash is it will have cooled in the interim, and therefore we again, we have a chashash for Shemayichat. So the Yisoyed of the Isra of placing something mitchila b'shabes on the Eish, Zadar Me'a Simcha, is because with Cheshesh you'll do that to something that's Tzoynen, and when it's Tzoynen you'll be Mechata. That's that way Rabbi Me'a Simcha summarizes Shita Satesis. Should we continue, Rabbi Shalim, or should we, should we continue the next thing? How, 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 what should we introduce? Hmm? Let's get to the run. Yeah, if you want to get them, let's get to the run. So, Yes, I'm just wondering what would what would you suggest, Rosh Hashanah? Just pure shit zatesis and then begin the Dibri Agada. Or that uh, okay. Now let's let's emphasize a, let's emphasize something which is not mafurish in Rameh Simcha, but a a a harvacha a dover nifla that we learn from Rameh Simcha. Rabbi said, let's go back to the to other tesis in that we learned. We learned to tesis that tesis compared Chazara and Shihia mahu lismoich. So this is Chazor and Shihia, the same thing. Frek the Chidusha Oran B'Shem Nero, Chazor and Smicha, the same din. We have a Sugeh Mufureshes that it's Homo. How can you compare the two? So we'll see Rashi, we compared the two because of Atmano. The Fi Shittas Atreses, the way Rameh Simcha explains, the two are absolutely comparable because both of them are based on a Chashash Hashem and If there would be a Heta to be Soimich by Shihia, what would that Heta be? The hetu would be because outside the kira, we're not chayshu, she'll be mechate in the kira. There's only chashashu, you'll be mechate the kira that it's in, not what's outside the kira. Memela, zok toises, chazara is the same thing. The fear of meya simcha, the toises is kimin chaymer. Shehi and chazara, identical gdarim. Just the chashash of, 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 of chitu, it goes further in the case of chazara because the dover is tzainin. But if it's outside the kira, so it's not aloish. Or if it's outside the kira, so we don't associate that with conventional ma'isa bishul, there's nifla. So then there's no problem whatsoever. So we have now a beer in shittas atesis to compare she and smicha mufi shittas atesis. Now what we'll finish is with the what we'll finish is with the is with the is, is with the following that this chiddush that Rameh Simcha says that the reason why chazara is also even on Shabbos. Is because we chayish Hashem yechata begecholim. A boy said, "There's a kushia tzuma on this Rameh Simcha. What's the kushia tzuma? What's the kushia tzuma? The whole sugi of Chazara is talking about by Gora from Kotum. Without Gora from Kotum, Chazara is always awesome. So to be machzer ala eish b'shabes, the whole sugi of oida beyodoy and daitul hachzer and everything is talking about Gora from Kotum. So what's the chashash chitui?" Bishloima Erev Shabbos, where we were speaking about the heter to be machzir on an ene gorof and kotum, like Taisa says, Givaldig, there's a chashash chitui. But on Shabbos, there should be a chashash chitui. What's your mesem chasein? So we could say. What's your mesem chasein? So the emes is Rabbi Saif, one is Ma'ayin in Sefer Yosha and Simon Reish Mem. In Simon Reish Mem in Sefer Yosha, Rabbi Nutam says that the Shabbos is because of Mechzek and Medash. Two gzeres. Iker plukta is on Erev Shabbos as chashash chitu, and bish Shabbos is as mechzik medash. And as I state, and this is Mavur and Simon Reish Mem, says, Afal gav l'gabi at t'mon ar minu m'soy barab m'an otoyimnin, zot zot rabbi nutam, kivan shem misasik l'tzananom, he says, lo yazunon shem yechata begecholim. Aval hochon nira kilu machzir l'kira bish Shabbos k'dera m'sulekes, and m'meila daito l'chamamom. 
It's Mavur, Pashas and Loshan of Avinu Tamna, this Tachet, two swars. And this is Mavur, and Be'ez Hashem in a further Limud will have a chance to see this, is Mavur also in the Kuntras Achan of the Shulchan Aruch Arav. We'll see this in a further Limud, we'll just mention it, it's not on the Marim Akimis, that he says also it's Choluk Be'ez Soydoi, the Din of Shehir, Erev Shabbos, the Din of Shehir the Shabbos. Erev Shabbos is Al-Shem Yechate, Shabbos is Al-Tzmech Sekim But we have a Tesis Keneged, because Tesis compares the two Dinim. Tesis says that Lismech Shehir and Chazara are identical. So if one is because of Mexican of Ashel and one is because of Shem Yechata, how you can compare the two dinim? It's not moving. So Kipshute, we have a Tesis, like the way Ramea Simcha assumes, and the Chara Deloika Shulchan Archer, but Tesis compares the two Gedarim. And Be'ezer Hashem, when we learn further, the dinim of Smicha will have a chance to see clearer of another possibility of the Miyash of Tesis. So Le we have now three, we have two Shittas in Tesis, two possibilities in Tesis, what the Gedar would be for Shehir on Shamas itself. But what we've now opened is, is the basis of the third shita, which is shita saran, which is that the basis of the Isra of Chazar B'Shabbos is not to do with Hatimana like Rashi, not to do with Shemini Chatel of Yitaisus, but it's because of Mechzakim and Ashel. And that Kipshuta is the basis of the Rishenim arguing with Taisus that she and Chazar are not comparable at all. Mechzakim and Ashel. The difficulty with Mechzakim, the difficulty with Mechzakim and Ashel is, and this is Hashem will see in, in, a, in, a, in a further limud, is that why would it apply a mechse kimivashal in a case where it's mitzdamik veralo? Well, the that's not the derech kimivashal bechlal, kasha that we mentioned before. Obviously, Be'ez Hashem, this kasha will be asked, will be touched on by Ramea Simcha and will also be discussed by the Egletal. That's the third shita serishenim, that there's a basic difference between Chazar and Shehir in an entirely new gezeira of of mechse kimivashal. And Be'ez Hashem, that will see further in a in another limit. Just to finish with, with brief Divya Agada, the period in which we're in is the is Chaydesh Sivan. Chaydesh Sivan, the Gemara in Shabbos and Daf Pezayin, calls the Yarchat Lisoi, a Chaydesh which is Meyuchot because it's a third Chaydesh from Nisan. Yarchat Lisoi, the Mosalan Oyrai. That's divided into There's a special darga, a special amiuchodus to Chaydesh Sivan. So we would have imagined that the rest of Chaydesh Sivan would still be in the Maila and the Gedula of the Chaydesh and Nitna Baitair. But in fact, Minna Gisral is that Chaydesh Sivan is of the Chadoshim that are most tragic in the history of Palisra. This Sunday is going to be Chav Sivan. So those who have a Minna, it's printed in the back of some, some Sidurim. Deslichas le Chav Sivan. So Shach writes in Sefer Zikaron that. These are the man, you know, were notorious for the Redifus of Klal Yisrael we made Tachvetat. And even in the Zman of Rishayim, Chaydash Sivan was a Chaydash of Rabu Boi Tzaras. The Maril and Hilchah Shavuos writes that his minig was that in the Shabbos Shekoydem Shavuos, they would say Ava Rachamim, because it's a Chaydash, Chaydash Sivan is a Chaydash of Rabu Boi Tzaras in Yisrael. It seems, it seems a pella. That in the same Chodesh and Nidna Beitaira, the Yarcha to Lisoi, the Chodesh and Nidna Beitaira, should be a Chodesh that was Meyuchod Lutzaras of Yisrael to that degree. And Minik Yisrael is to say, I have a Rachman on the Shabbos of Chodesh Sigun, even there's a Chosim of Beis Akanasas. How do we understand that? What's the beer that in the Yarcha to Lisoi, the Chodesh and Nidna Beitaira is a Chodesh that's Meyuchod for Tzara? This is like a Chodesh Tamaz and Chodesh and Chodesh Av, we understand the Chodesh and Ishtaber Ben Luchais. Tammuz, we lost the mile of Matan Torah. So therefore, there's called Reifer, Reifer, his sigua ben Amitzar. Tishabav, Koral Aimoya, Lishbar Bachura, the Gemara says in Tainis, that was the man of the Chet Tamiraglim, where Kalisra was further in Israel, Achik, than it says from the mile of Matan Torah. But Chedesh Sivan, the Archa to Lisoi, why is that the Chedesh? That is, is it, that it, and, and, the, and the, Mar, the Maril is clear that the reason why we say of Arachimim then is because it's the Chedesh. Shinasu Boitzaras, the Israel. And yet, that's the Archa Tulisoi. What, what, what's the beer at work? 
So we understand that the Pashtas is the Makar of this is, is from Gemara Mefureshes. Lomo Nikrash Sinai says the Gemara in Shamash to Mishom Yor the Sin Alu Umasoy. Matam Kaira is the Shayrish of the Umasoy on the Miskan and Glat Israel. So in the same Chaydesh that was Nitna Baitaira was also the Chaydesh that Kal Israel had to, so to speak, be saved all the Yor the Sin Alu Umasoy. Hasayif has safer Yor the Kruchim and Avada, that's MS. But Lechera, then, all we then have from that is that the Umas, the Maila of the Chaydesh, the Nitnobay Terra, the Archet to the Soy, it's also a Chaydesh of tragedy because Kali Sorol has to accept both. I think from a Dovor Nifla that's Mavur and Mene Simcha, Meshachach and Pashas Kadoshim, we can understand that in fact, Adarabah, that this is the Maalyusim, Maalosim Shal Yisrael, and Adarabah is a Hemshech to the Maila of Matan Taira and the Gedula of. The Yarchat Lisa. May Simcha says like this. Besides the fact that we know it's me Ikre Muno that the Rabbi Nishan was Boyre, all the Ilamis Bechefzoi, and was Boyre the Odom Bechefzoi, we know also that the Rabbi Nishalayim is Majgiach, Bashgoch and Iflaw and Klal Yisrael, and the Rabbi Nishalayim is Yehideh or Majgiach, and is Meshadad and Marochal of the Tevas Yisrael. The idea that not just the Rabbi Nishalayim was Boyre Ilamis, but the Rabbi Nishalayim is Majgiach and Manik the Ilam Bashgoch and Iflaw. Where was that? demonstrated with absolute, with absolute finality. Zadar Meir Simcha, that was Mukhrach in Matan Torah. He says, could I just see it? I'm showing this briefly over Meir Simcha in Pashas Kedoshim. It's on the Pasuk of Vahav Talarecha Kamoich He says, Al ze Meir Hamina Yisraeli, Mitzad she kiblu gilu ha oras ale kusale bahasina la ene kuba machsen nevuis uben flois ritsufum arboim shana betadiris. Asher bezelo y tochen shum dimin kaizev. Says Klali saw the fact that the Rubenshan was nizgala to Klali saw baspaklari mira. And the Rubenshan was mefarnas than baarboim shana shows that the Rubenshan is majgiach in the bria ba ifen of nes. He says even if Hasu Shalman could dismiss that that matantair was a dimin kaizev. The Mer Simcha says, "Kiilu in 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 the Melitza, ki har ki says, 'Ki zeh lo yitochin shum dim in koyzev ki arov lo yimala lafshay bechazyon es laila.' A person can't fill his stomach with dimim. If they survived our boyim shana, it's muchach that our boyim shana was mishadet the tef. So then he says, so then we see that there's hashgacha dvuka bekomit sadeinu beumazu. But then he says that there's something else which illustrates also." With finality, the fact that the Rabbi Shalom is involved and is Mashgiach and is Mani Klalisra. He says that the Hashgacha Lekis is Dov Kobahem Ashehema Bagoila Am Levadod Yishkain, near Dofemi called Sadu Pina. Klalisra is, is pursued from every, dire- from every direction. But yet, Kali Sol is bound up with the Oish Shevel, with an Aleph, with the, with, the, with the fulfillment of what it means to be Dovok in the Rebbein Shalaylam. Where do we see that? Asher im yir ma'at, if they, they only get some degree of reprieve from the Umas Ha'ilam, yisnasu roishal kol ha'amim, then they become superior to all the game that they're amongst. Behin ronalim b'midei seim b'tchunei seim. Says that Pele of the Hanhoga of Kali Sol, is once again confirming and illustrating the pillar of the Anahaga that Matan Torah first showed. And Zadar Meir Simcha, the, the core of this is a Gemara Mufureshes, that the Gemara says in Yuma that Mitchila the Nevi'im stopped saying, Give God all Gibor Venoira, because in Golus, Ay Gedulosoi, Ay Gvoroisov, Ay Nuroisov, until the, the Anshe Knesset Gadol reinstates it because they said, Kavso Achas ben Shivim Zeivim, Klali Yisrael's Gedula in Golus is the greatest demonstration. Of the Rebbeinu Shleilam Sashgach. Today, just to read a couple more sen- couple more sentences in Meshter Chachma, he says, "Kain who be Yisrael Bagoila." He says, "The imkin nigroshim heimal le America, the kol zeh, the kol mokim boyom heimal misachdim, the nasim kihilos va agudos le tayro la avoda, the ribut stokos umasim toivim, the niskayim bo him mizos oila min amidbar ketimrois asher." It says the same anhoga that the midbar showed me, says Eilam and midbar ketimrei sashon, the anhoga of the Anani Akovid 
is demonstrated by the matzav of Yidin in America today. He's writing this in the 1920s. He said, He says, Like what we have. There was two points in which Rabbi Yisham demonstrated this with finality. One was Matan Torah. And the Hanhoga of Arboim Shalom Bamidbar. Zotar Meir Simcha, the whole Hanhoga and the Pele of Klal Yisrael Begolus, is the Pele of the Hemshech of Shechina Besoichem of Matan Torah. Memele, it's two, it's two sides of the same coin. In the same Chodesh, that was Nimsa Orion to Lisoi, is the Chodesh that's Nesiached, like Rameir Simcha says, that with all the Redifus, we call Pino Bechol Tzad, Klal Yisrael is still Kayim, and his Oil Al Gabi, the Umus Oilam, that they be Shechem Besoichem. This is the greatest pillar that demonstrates that Shechina is of Yisrael. So Adar Abba Mitoich, the Tsar of Chodesh Sivan. We will mechazek ourselves with that lotion of of of, of Rameis Simcha that Adar Abba Asheim begoyla am levad the Yishka nidofim va'oisher aleki dovuk benafshem. Tainu hach. When we now have the avoid of the rest of the of, of the Yemei Sivan, the Yom that Chamal Tzam when Yisrael begoyt zaras Yisrael. Adar Abba we mechazek that the the Yishka aleki is 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 benafshem, and there's no greater pillar. Then the Kavsa Achas bin Shivim Zevim, that's Mikhail Nashras Ashkin of Mahmoud. was very talented American. You know, he, he mentions uh, America several places. What